Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we'll be playing some Gruel Tramplers. Now if you don't know this archetype, it was kind of introduced to us in Ikoria, in which we got some cards like Corchwood Crusher, which is the main card of the deck. When Whenever one or more creatures you control with Trample deals combat damage to a player, create an XX Green Dinosaur Beast creature token with Trample, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. And of course it's non-legendary, so you can have multiple Corswood Crushers on the battlefield. Now of course you, uh, you're gonna be saying, you will, well you need a lot of creatures with Trample. True, but... But we have the new card from M21, which is called Garruk's Uprising. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with 4 power or greater, draw a card. And whenever a creature with power, uh, power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That's super important and super amazing for restocking. But the most important part, creatures you control have trample. So all of our creatures, no matter what they are, as long as we have got Garruk Surprising down, they have Trample, so they work with everything. They work with Proud Wild Bonder, which basically you uh, you may have this creature assign combat damage as though it were not block if it has Trample. So all creatures with Trample can assign combat damage as though they were not blocked, so straight to the opponent's HP. Um, Although we are running creatures with trample, because I do believe it's very important just in case we don't draw into Garruk's Uprising. Now of course uh, we also have Garruk Unleashed, because I really love this card, and he also gives trample with his plus one, which is amazing, and if you can ult him that just goes through the roof, so I do really love this card. Uh, we have some ramp parallel game with Gilded Goose, we have Nessian Horn Beetle that gets plus one plus one, before the combat phase if you have another creature with power 4 or greater. We have Warden of uh, the Taint, which is basically a great Theros card for Gruul, with a 4-4-3 mana trample, and it can only attack uh, uh, if you have a creature with power 4 or greater, and they work great with Nessian Beetle, because in two turns basically you can attack, or you can just do it in even less if you have another combo out. Uh, Bonecrusher Giant, good removal of Stomp, great battle with 4-3, uh, Questing Beast is great overall against all the Planeswalkers and Anigans and Elder Gargaroth, now this is the new card from M21 for the big beasts of uh, the green, it has Vigilance, Reach, Trample and whenever he attacks or blocks create a 3-3 green beast creature token, gain 3 life or draw a card, so it's a great combo beast for us overall and I really like it and I have one of Thorn Mammoth just in case we want a little bit of removal now of course this is a Mimir deck definitely not to be taken too seriously uh, but I think it's one of the funnest Mimir's, uh, Mimir decks you can play right now and I really really want to get into it and showcase it to everybody so let's Finally, alright, onto our first game, we are on theme on point with Garuk, I have to say. Now, we could go Domri for the Gruul, but we got Garuk surprising Garuk, so, come on now. I don't like this hand, because everything is so expensive, but we have so many of our key pieces and Temple of Abandon, so we might be able to scry to something down low. Oh no, this is Azorius, Ugh, could be bad. Now, not gonna go to 5 mana. Because I have 24 land, so I am bound to draw one more mana. But I do want to draw a 2 or 3 mana creature, like right now. Oh man, this is probably absent on Azorius Control. Really love this card, by the way. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah. Really good mid range does not work versus a, a very slow, meticulous control deck like this. Again, we have. Uh, Gilded Goose, Bonecrusher Giant, Warden of the Chained, um, so many cards we could draw, there we go, Warden of the Chained, finally. Strength, Skill, Rage all have their limits, but Patience can be infinite. I mean, it's kind of weird that you're in the Underworld. Are you in the Underworld? Maybe. So this is Esper, uh, so that's that cool, but they don't have a fourth mana, which is really cool. Oh, come on, Vito. Okay. So, I'm gonna buff him up. Now, he cannot attack just yet, but uh, if I can emblem Garuk, we definitely win. Oh, by the way, if you're enjoying this deck, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content, because I really do appreciate all of your amazing support this past few, well, weeks if we go based on card 21 and if we go even further woof that's a long ass time and I really am thankful for that also 
uh, make sure to comment down below with all your thoughts and opinions because they're really important to me all right so we can attack with uh, warden of the taint and we can give him plus three plus three he already has trample but if he didn't he would get it and now he attacks deals damage and we get at minimum a 5-5 five five beast or at maximum a 7-7 seven seven. that is holy nice <laughs> that's so sexy and we are literally two turns away from uh, winning with uh, Garuk which is awesome so this is a seven mana we have six alright so I'm gonna go Quisty Beast and I'm actually gonna soak in the Nessian Horn Beetle and I'm gonna plus the the Questing Beast so it has Trample and I think we just kind of one-shot them, although they were a pretty uh, controlly deck. I guess their Azorius enchantments or Esper enchantments just didn't pop off fast enough. Yeah, because after that, imagine all the uh, all the creatures Scorchwood Crusher just gives us. Gives another 5-5, five, five, another 7-7, seven, seven, another 6-6, six, six, another 4-4. Four, four. Uh, that was a really, really good showcase in the first game. Really all right, playing versus retweet 1-1-1. One, one, one. I don't know, except it's just RT, and then I just have no idea what they mean. Uh, it's workable. It's workable. Alright, we're gonna start off with the Sockland, because that's the best way to start. Uh, ooh, that's really nice. I, I didn't, I wasn't at the time where this was the thing. I didn't know about this. Very, very beautiful art, I like it. Um, now... I could go Bone Crusher Giant. I think I will. So Nessia and Hornbill starts getting bigger. And we do have like Bone Crusher Giant. And now we have Garuk Surprising to draw a card. And we really want to draw a card to get into that. Uh... Yeah, there's Shultai. To get into that um, fourth mana rage with Garuk and Liz. Now, if I can ult Garuk in one of these games, that would be. Awesome! Ooh. Ooh. Don't hit me! It hurts! Holy! Jesus! 11 damage, dude! Look at this 11 damage! That's not even a joke! Wow! Actually, we win! Wow! Do we turn 5 win? We turn 5 win! Oh my god! Questing Beast Plus! We turn 5 win, dude! Wow! Wow! What is this weird aggro deck I've built? Uh... Yeah... Yeah, that's uh... I... Okay, I never expect this to be this fast. Wow, I thought we were gonna be out. We're just winning out. Alright then. Silver Hawk. Tomahawk. I really like this hand. It's a really good hand. I really like this hand. Very good. Very, very good hand. Alright. Good, clean, aggro start. I like it. Garuk, that's so good, dude. I really like this start. It's so good. Interesting. Uh... I'm just gonna go nice and horn beetle. Why not? looks so weird like like why is it like this what happened to this imp dude why does it look like that I'm sorry but you look like death um we could play it just a tiny little bit slower one hurt us uh, we have more than enough mana so I'm just gonna keep shock open from sorry, stomp open from Bow Crush Giant. I'm gonna take the damage. Cause one damage doesn't really matter. Okay, now that I know they have no other play, I want to take the damage. 
basically the, my reasoning behind how that worked. Um, gonna immediately play Garuk, immediately start blasting him. Now, uh, yeah. Now, if they have straight up murderous riders, that's a fucky wucky. But that's fine because, well, that's just what happens when you play the game. Ah, they don't have them. They don't have it, so yeah, that's gonna go get menace and death touch. Lifeling and death touch. That's a regrettable decision from them. For sure. They will come to regret it. Alright. We're very close to ulting him. I would love to ult Garuk. I haven't ulted Garuk in ever. In like, legit, like, from the first day of the new set. Okay. If they remove Bone Crusher Giant, that's sad because that Garuk becomes very, very not relevant anymore. <sighs> Man. Maybe they don't have a removal for Warden of the Taint other than tapping Porcupine, which would be awesome because that means I can ult Garuk and please let me fucking ult Garuk because I haven't ulted Garuk in like forever and that would be awesome. Don't be a bitch, let me ult Garuk. Alright, good. Can we ult Garuk now? Please? Please? Come on, come on, come on. Please, let me ult Garuk. Let me ult Garuk, please. Don't be a bitch. He's not a bitch, okay. He's a little bit of a bitch, but it's not bitch bitch. Oh, come on. No. No. You have two mana. No. Okay. <sighs> okay, cool. Too late, bitch. I am ulting him now. <laughs> Finally. I'm just gonna play straight up Garuk like this. Go uh, minus two. Minus one, basically. Take action uh, and get. So. Put it onto the battlefield. I think this should attack the Porcupine. Yes! Nice! Thor Mammoth kills that Porcupine, which is perfect. Because we are safe now from losing all of our fucking creatures. So now, with the ult of Garuk, we can finally. Mm, shit. Crap baskets. <laughs> we should have been fine, but we're not fine. Okay, they only have top deck right now, so I'm feeling better. Not good, but better. What I like to see is a Bone Crusher Giant draw so I can stomp that Pestilent Spirit. This, like, oh my god. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 7. So, it's gonna enter tapped. I'm gonna play a little bit slow with Quartzwood Crushers. Just because I would love for them to be full on top deck. I'm gonna go Gargaroth. Because there might be a chance that he survives. And we'll see to that. Alright, they're only top deck mode. They don't seem to have card draw. They have two cards in their hand. One of them is Cream Dancer. Thank fucking god. So they only have one more chance to draw into a god tier draw. 
Oh man, this is so stressful. This matchup is so difficult. No, oh, they had blazing fucking volley. I knew it. You bloody. Mm. You bitch. <laughs> Take action. Give me another crotch good crusher. All right, so double crotch good crusher means that if they don't get the top deck of blazing volley, which I would lose my absolute mind over, means that we can. And we lose because we can't defend. My God, he, <laughs> he double top deck blazing volley with pestilence spirit down, and I did get bone and I got three times in a row mana. Wow, I was frustrating at best. Mmm, that was so frustrating, dude. I was ah, uh, I ulted Garuk, but it was just not enough. That really frustrated me. Damn it, dude. I was so close with double cords with crosshair. And they... <sighs> yeah, I should probably just have more removal cards like Thor Mammoth and stuff like that. In all honesty, that's my major mistake there. But, like... Really, brother? Really? Double top deck blazing volley? Come on, dude. Uh, anywho, uh, overall I really like this deck, it's super fun, it's super mimi, you can get some very aggressive starts, it runs Garuk, which is awesome, it runs Korzgut Crusher, which is super awesome, and even Gargaroth, which is pretty swashy. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content, if you want to see more, make sure to also go to the, over towards twitch.tv slash sentence lair, it also supports me greatly. Uh, and yeah, comment down below with anything and everything you want to talk about, answer to every single humane comment, I'll see you all in the next one, take care, have a great day, bye bye.